Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to build a rocket using my Circular Gravity Force 3 package. Um, Circular Gravity Force 3 is out on the asset or the Unity asset store um, and you can check that out in the links and descriptions below. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in here. Let's go ahead and go under um, scenes, prototypes, and let's just go to the empty scene here um, for just kind of making our prototype here. And we're going to want, and first off we're going to need a rocket. So let's go to assets prefabs, 3D, player, and then we're going to go ahead and bring in the rocket here. So just drag and drop it in there. And we'll kind of move it up so that we can kind of edit it a little bit here. So right now, let's first off um, give it some force so that it shoots upward. So we don't have to do any code or anything. We just go up to Tools, CGF3, Wizard. And we're going to want to create basically an object that makes it thrust upward. And so you just go to, we're going to want this type 3D because um, we're not using the 2D engine. And we're going to go ahead and set the size to 4 and leave the force power to 10. Uh, shape, we're going to want to set this to ray cast. And force type, um, we want to set force to it. So we just want to apply force upward. And then we also want to set the force mode to um, acceleration. That'll make it kind of nice and smooth when we, when we go upward and then just say create CGF. So once we create it, uh, we can see that we kind of have an object here that we just made and I just closed out of the wizard there but um, you can see that it, it made this prefab called CGF and that's basically the thrusting upward um, object that we're going to use to make this rocket shoot upward. Um, so right now you can see that the arrow is pointing to the right so we want to make it so that it's applying force upward so we just rotate the arrow so that it's up and we're going to want to make sure that it's touching our rocket. So that looks good. So now, right now, it's just basically showing that we're going to be shoot, making this rocket shoot upward. Um, so let's go ahead and also we want to parent this object, the CGF object, with the rocket. So that way, once when our rocket is flying, um, this force object is stuck with that um, rocket. So let's, we just drag and drop the CGF in the rocket. So that way if I click my rocket here, you can see that the CGF is um, with that object. Um, so let's go ahead and kind of set this down just a little bit. Um, and let's move our camera so that we're facing the rocket. So just uh, control shift F to um, focus on what you're looking at. And then let's go ahead and hit play here and you'll see that it launches upward. So right now we want to make it so that when we hit spacebar, it, it only turns on when we're hitting spacebar. So in order to do this, you just um, let's select our, our object here, the circular gravity force object, and let's say add component. And we want to type in key. And you'll notice that there's uh, two different types here. There's key controls, <coughs> oh, excuse me, key controls and um, uh, 2D um, controls. So we want to select just the top one. That's just for 3D. And so CGF key controls and select that. And then we're going to want to make sure that, okay, there's three different types here. You can, you can make it so that you can manipulate the size, the force, or just enabling the circular gravity force. But we want to we manipulate the force, basically. So idle value, we want it to be zero. So that means when I'm not pressing the space bar, it's just, the force power is just going to be zero. And this is mimicked right here. So this is basically, these values are overriding the force power here. So just keep that in mind. Um, so we want to add one controller here. So if I hit one here, it's just going to add one control to the array. And then I'm going to go ahead and select spacebar. And then press value, we're going to want it to be 10. So every time I hit spacebar, um, it's going to set the force power to 10. If I don't press anything, then it's going to be zero. So if I hit play here, and we can go ahead and click gizmo up here and that actually shows our object here. You can kind of see it a little bit. Um, but if I hit spacebar here, you'll actually see that it's kind of flying right now. So every time I hit spacebar, it flies up. So that's essentially what we're wanting to do. Um, you notice that it, when it's white, that means that um, the force power is zero. So just keep that in mind. So every time I'm not pressing it, it's zero. If I press it, it's it's 10. So we can fly off. 
So now we want to make it so that our rocket turns left and right when we're when we're pressing the left and right keys. And we're gonna need we're gonna need another um, circular gravity force object here to do that because we're gonna want to apply torque to it rather than force. So let's go back up to our wizard here, and we want to create a 3D object, kind of the same deal. Let's make it so that the force power is five, so we're not gonna need that much force to do this because it's gonna be just torque that we're gonna be applying to the rocket. And shape, we're gonna hit raycast. Ray force type, we're gonna hit torque. So that means that we're gonna make this object spin. And we want the maximum velocity to be um, 10. And let's go ahead and say, I will just leave it force for, for the mode. And then let's go ahead and add, um, this is where you can actually just do this manually and, and, and create the object, but let's go ahead and add a controller to this. So we want an access controller. So you just hit that and say create. And let's close out of the window. And now you'll notice that it, we just created this uh, torque object right now. That's um, So let's try to align this to the rocket here so that we can kind of make sure that this is aligned so that it's touching the rocket. I'll just kind of put it in 2D here so I can kind of see where to make sure that it's kind of aligned properly. I'll put it down like that. Okay. So first off, you'll notice that um, when your circular gravity force with torque um, and it's a ray cast is pointing downward so that's when it's positive if I if I put a, a negative value in here it should point upward that means that basically what what's gonna happen is it's gonna spin whatever it's touching that way um, so if I put positive here so if I'm if I'm hitting right then it's basically gonna make it so that it turns um, to the right and if I hit left it's gonna turn to the left so First off, we need to set up the controls so that it's doing that. So this is pretty much the same thing, except we, we set it up so that it's an axis controller. So we're gonna wanna make sure that the value is zero when they're not pressing anything. And then we're gonna wanna add one controller here. So let's add that. And for button name, we wanna have it so that it's horizontal. So that's gonna be using the horizontal axis for the controls. So let's just type in horizontal. and we want the value to be five when they press um, left or right. So if they hit left, it's gonna be a negative value, and if they hit right, it's gonna be a positive value based on, since it's an axis controller. So let's go ahead and hit enter. So if I hit play here. Oh, and one other thing, we need to make sure that our um, torque um, object that we made is parent into the rocket. So let's, let's go ahead and just kind of rename this so we know that it's, since we have two of them here, we wanna say that this one's the torque um, uh, torque one here. So let's go ahead and put it parented under the rocket so that way it stays with the rocket. And let's hit play. Okay, that's better. So now you'll see if I hit left or right, it turn, those turn positive or negative. Um, and if I don't hit anything, then it's um, just white and zero. So if I fly here, I'll start, I can kind of control my rocket here of how I want it to fly off. So you can kind of see some pretty powerful stuff that you can kind of do here. You're, you can almost just kind of invent anything that you want using just physics. Um, and I'll probably have another tutorial here for um, how to make a car to just kind of show you how you guys how to do that. Um, let's go ahead and add one more thing. Let's go ahead and add it so that when I hit up and down, it turns the other way too. Um, so let's go ahead and let's duplicate this one. And let's go ahead and face it or move it over here and then let's rotate it and then face it towards the rocket. So let me, I'm just gonna align it here so that it's center with the rocket. Okay, that's good. And so now if we hit up and down, I wanna make it so that it goes up and down basically. Um, so since we duplicated this object, it still has the same axis controllers, but instead of horizontal, we wanna use uh, vertical. So let's type in vertical. And hit play here. So you notice if I hit up and down, it's doing a positive or negative. I hit left and right, it does that. Um, so let's go ahead and fly here. Yeah, so that's pretty much as easy as that. I mean, you kind of just start making, oh. <laughs> 
anyway that's essentially the rocket tutorial um basically check out the links and descriptions below and leave any comments below if um if you guys have any comments um but anyway 